Hey, ge hey, ge hey, ge hi everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying a lovely day. So, have you ever wondered why your tracking probably looks a little wonky today? Like, you can see how when I'm rotating my head it doesn't really look, you know, good. And that's because I haven't calibrated my movement. So, you may be wondering. How do you calibrate your movement? Well, you can actually do it in two ways. As a hotkey, or you can just simply press a button. Which, obviously, the first method, which is to, you know, calibrate, you just click on the tracking, you know, solution of your choice, whether it's eye facial mocap, or, or you can actually choose media pipe tracker. There's also a calibrate button right here. And you just simply press on that button, and you can be able to calibrate. And again, you just find this calibration button regardless of the face tracker that you are using. So, OpenSea Face has one, MediaPipe has one, iFish Mocap has one, Real Life has one. The other ones that are, you know, leap motion or body tracking based, they don't have a calibrate because either they don't need one or it's handled within the, their respective program. So, keep that in mind. But otherwise, though, you can simply just click on the calibrate button. But what if you want this to be a hotkey instead? Because I don't want to just always click on the button every time. I got a streaming to do. Well, you can simply just go to blueprints, add a new blueprint by pressing on this button, add blueprint. And then what you can do is that you make a, you'll make a hotkey node here. So on keystroke press. So when I press on this here, like let's say I'm pressing the number one. Or if you are a Stream Deck user, which I have a tutorial on how you use a Stream Deck for what to do, you can also use your Stream Deck node as well, either whatever you want, you know, or if you want to go crazy, WebSockets. But what you can do, of course, is then do a invoke asset trigger here. Then you connect it to whoever you want. So for this case, I'm just going to do it with a keystroke, but again, apply your knowledge. And then depending on the tracking of your choice, whether it's eye facial mocap or media pipe or whatever face tracking related, you know, tracker you're using, you set the trigger pass to calibrate. And I'll do the same thing with media pipe. And you can simply just press the number one button and it will calibrate your tracking. Therefore, you can now have a hotkey so that way you don't have to constantly just press the button manually, just do it. It's, it's literally how I'm able to like fix, you know, myself during streams in case I go a little derpy when I leave the screen or something like that. But yeah, but that's pretty much how you do it. And yeah, I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership, so if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise though, just your support means so much to me, and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way though, with that being said though, hey, 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 goodbye bye everyone! I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye!